I'm I'm Sophie Schaumann. I'm Ali Fryer. I'm Alisa Edgeson. And this past year, we worked on microplastic abundance in freshwater rivers under the biology department at Concordia College. Over the past couple decades, there have been many changes in our natural habitat, notably the buildup of garbage in our waters. Plastic waste accumulates in our waters very quickly, and it has become a very visible problem, affecting all types of wildlife negatively. However, one of the most troublesome forms of water pollution is harder to see, microplastics, which are plastic particles less than, less than five millimeters in size. Microplastic fibers enter water via treatment plants or just any sort of waste that people throw in. They can break down over time or be entered directly being less than five millimeters. And there is relatively few studies done on freshwater rivers, while there are many studies done on um, marine sources. So further studies are necessary in rivers. This study aims to add more information to those limited amount of studies. And we looked at samples comparing the Buffalo River and Red River in Clay County, Minnesota, we compared upstream, midstream, and downstream locations to see if there's a significant difference between those spots. We hypothesize that there will, be, there will be a statistical difference between the Red River and Buffalo River. And we also hypothesize that there will be statistical significance between up, mid, and downstream locations. Now onto our method section. We divided our method section into three different points, sampling, filtration, and visual identification. For sampling, we collected 18 um, 16 ounces jars of water sample from Buffalo River and Red River at three different locations, upstream, midstream, and downstream of each rivers, with um, three samples being taken at each of these spots. And we also added three blank samples of distilled water um, and making a total of 21 samples that were analyzed. We then filtered our um, samples using a Buchner funnel system under a fume hood that was done to prevent contamination. And um, we filtered them through a filtering paper, which was then placed on a Petri dish. Then for the third part, which was visual identification, we um, examined the samples under a dissecting microscope and the microplastics were identified um, on the basic criteria of anthropogenic microplastic fragments and fibers. For our results, the top uh, green graph shows the abundance between the two fresh waters rivers. On the left is the Buffalo River and on the right is the Red River. The bottom graph uh, the red one shows the difference between the Red River at up, mid, and down. The, le the, left, um, the yellow one shows the difference between microplastics in the Buffalo River at up, mid, and down. So we, did, we were able to find a significant difference between the Red and Buffalo River. The Buffalo River had a higher mean and we hypothesize that one of the reasons could be is because it's a farming community and a relatively small population in, in Holly. There was also a pattern seen between the rivers at up, mid and down, but no significant difference. Um, this suggests that further downstream, more and more uh, microplastics are getting washed into the river and bioaccumulate. In order to confirm this conclusion, more data needs to be collected. And we would especially like to thank the biology department and Dr. Joe Whitaker for being our mentor throughout this project.